8 News at 6 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 8 News at 6 tonight. I'm Talia Cunningham. New tonight, more than 100 family members and friends came together to celebrate the lives of two young children killed in a quadruple shooting nearly two weeks ago. Four suspects were arrested in connection to that alleged drive-by shooting that happened last week. 8 News reporter Sabrina Shutters joins us live in Richmond tonight at police headquarters with more on this developing story. Sabrina. I'll tell you, families of both children gunned down that day, and several community leaders were there today saying they're tired of holding vigils, going to funerals, and asking people to put the guns down. Now, too devastated to speak, Raquan Logan's mother stood with tears rolling down her face as so many people remember her 14 year old son. Nine year old Abdul Bani Ahmad's aunt was there as well. Both children were shot and killed on November 12th at the OMG convenience store on Nine Mile Road. Today, Cheryl Burke with Richmond Public Schools says the district has written too many letters, saying too many parents are losing their children. Community leaders prayed, spoke to the crown, begging people to stop killing each other. Logan Zan is asking people to stop spreading rumors about how her nephew died on social media. He was a baby. He was our baby. He wasn't perfect. None of them are. But he was still ours. And we loved him very dearly. Now, I spoke with Governor elect Glenn Youngkin yesterday on how he plans to prevent gun violence like what we're seeing here in Richmond. I'll have all of that right here on 8 News coming up at 11. For now, live in Richmond, Sabrina Shutters, 8 News. Sabrina, thank you. We'll see you at 11.